What in the world is this doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Sideways farm. What do you mean sideways farm? Wait, hold on. What? Oh my word. What is this? We completely changed the way Minecraft works inside Minecraft. So instead of doing the basics like planting your wheat seeds, your pumpkin seeds, whatever you want to plant right side up, go ahead and defy gravity and plant it sideways now. And on top of that, we also made it so you could plant the unlikely, like diamond ore or even mobs. This is going to get interesting. But before we dive in, guys, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. Helps out the channel a lot. And while you're at it, feel free to click the like button. Let's go for six likes on this video. I know it's going to be intense, but together we could beat the YouTube algorithm. All right, folks, this is our new location of our farm we're going to set up. This is going to be the first or second or third, the third sideways farm ever created in Minecraft. And we can now go up to blocks and farm them. So the plants, instead of being up there, right there we're now going to plant everything on the wall so i got my little farm set up this is my, my my first farm our first farm we can grab these wheat seeds here and just i don't know where do we want to place them? let's you know toss them boom we got our first wheat seeds planted right there coming out sideways on the wall now of course we got to make sure that we have some water down here get some water in here get some water we got to get the basics water probably should have filled up all these buckets bum 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 we got the buckets provide all the water now the important thing about planting sideways is that sideways plants require a different type of resource in order different food i should say they can't survive off the basics they can't just get you average food they're sideways plants i mean imagine the gravitational pull sucking that plant down so we're gonna have to feed it something a little bit stronger and three of our major food types are gonna be our bread our iron ingots and our Cool. One of those does not go very well. Quickly plant a couple more plants. We've got three of our beginner plants, beginner sideways plants here. If we want to feed our plants some bread, we got to make it bite size. So we're going to toss a piece of bread in there and we're going to get some bread bits like we're feeding fish out here. Drop it in the ocean. That's that's how you attract the fish. Go to our plant and we're just going to toss the bread bits and it instantly is going to become fully grown. <laughs> what in the world is this? But we don't just want our basic fully grown plant. What we want is plants that can go above and beyond. These sideways plants, they can do some pretty incredible things as well. Some stuff that'll shock your toes off. Take an iron ingot. I don't know why we had to break the bread down into bits in order to feed our first plant because the iron ingot can be fed directly to the plant. Here you go, buddy. How you doing today? Hello. And it becomes an iron plant. Now watch what happens when we have an iron plant. Just wait for it. <gasps> this one's growing on its own. And watch. Once the plant is fed, the plant, iron plant, will continue to drop iron nuggets continuously for forever. You can see, look, they're just kind of pooping them out over here. There's two right there. However, if our buddy doesn't want to produce, we're going to have to change that up. We're going to have to go to war. We're going to replant our wheat buddy right there. And then we're going to take some coal. How dare you defy? By me watch what happens instantly dies oh gosh oh wait seeds give them back we'll replant you somewhere else when we can actually get you to survive and we've got 62 iron nuggets that whole time from our mega producers right here oh my word this is going to be the greatest farm ever that's just the wheat plant imagine what happens if we go even farther than that, we can grow more than just plants here. We don't have to worry about crafting bread. We're just going to plant our bread. Toss it there. We got our bread planted in the wall right there. Another one here. We're going to take our bread bits and we're just going to feed it to the bread. When the bread becomes fully grown, it looks like a wheat plant. But wait for this magic to ensue because this bread plant is skipping a step for us we're just defying physics of minecraft and also eliminating any crafting needed oh it's coming out the other side because i blocked it look at this oh i just realized look at it it's shooting it out this way look at it just toss it out look at all this oh my gosh 41 bread how fast one two three four five six seven eight nine oh my set 11 12 13 15 20 pieces of bread. What do we have? We got 42 right now. Pick it up. 50. Okay, it wasn't quite 20, but it was close. Oh my gosh. We have all the food we could ever need coming out the backside of our farm right here. <laughs> 
and loads of nuggets oh my gosh two stacks already let's get these crafted up really fast boom we're gonna use you for food we're gonna eat you i mean our plants are gonna eat you delicious what we need to do is extend our farm for these next plants that are going to be placed along this edge here and this is going to give us a massive upgrade get my dirt get my dirt get all my dirt and to the magic that is we tried the iron we tried the bread and we're getting loads of it on the other side we're going to use that to feed some more plants some more seeds but instead of feeding these seeds iron or bread or nuking them with some coal feed i'm gonna go boom oh grab some diamonds here we're going to turn these plants into diamond plants oh but look it's changing all the blocks around to turn to diamond ore oh gosh this farming stuff requires a lot of maintenance okay fill that back in clean up my farm it's like a toxic material this time Ore is going everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's 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 almost too much. Even on the backside, it's turning it into diamonds. Oh, <laughs> unlimited diamonds. The diamond master. I've tamed them all. It actually might uh destroy our farm. We might have to move you guys a different direction. I'm gonna build you guys your own farm over here. Oh, it's infesting everything. Even if I'm building the new farm, I can see the diamonds spawning down here. Oh my gosh gosh it's infected everything guys all right all right all right i built a new home for you over here diamond 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 i think that should give us enough space because <laughs> oh my gosh it almost destroyed our entire farm i mean it did it's nice to have all these diamonds it really is nice to have all this but it did almost kill everything uh we're gonna leave the infection for now but i'm gonna take some of this diamond ore here and also plant these bad boys in the dirt just like that. This one already grew straight away. Thank you very much, water. Grab a few more of our bread bits and feed it to the diamond plant. Oh, it's already working. Planting the diamond ore itself is going to cause the diamond plant to drop random pieces of diamond armor constantly. Or, as you just saw, Oh, right there. Diamond weapons. Diamond sword. Okay, this is officially the greatest diamond farm of all time. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to place you in there. And I'm going to plant you right there. Oh, look at her go. And with those planted over there, I'm going over this direction. Grab one of these because corn flour is really important for the diamond plants. Not necessarily our bread bits because we got to go and meet the diamond plant at the level that it's at which is uh, far greater than the level I'm currently at. Give me that. Give me that. We've got the corn flour. And the diamonds also enjoy the oxide daisies as well as the dandelions. Bring this back. We got our bouquet together. We got our dandelions. We got our oxide daisies. We got our corn flour. Bring it back to our diamond farm. <laughs> Let's see what kind we can produce. Because each time we feed the diamonds one of these plants, we're going to get instantly interrupt that farm of diamond equipment coming down. The flood of diamond equipment coming down and we're going to get something else we're gonna get something else oh <laughs> look at this what oh my gosh we definitely need a chest over here clear this up when we feed it a corn flour boom we can interrupt the cycle and just instantly get a piece of diamond as soon as we need it however if we say feed it an oxide daisy we're going to get a launch of iron equipment that can come randomly enchanted when we grab it give me that no give me the Give me the enchanted piece. <gasps> Unbreaking three protection four on that iron chest plate. And we also got an iron pickaxe with efficiency four silk touch unbreak. Oh, get rid of our basic iron pickaxe. We don't need you anymore. You've been ditched. And if we feed the plant a dandelion, we also get instantaneously a gold block. Boom. Check on our bread. We're going to have way too much bread. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. There is so much bread sitting there right now, folks. We are not gonna have to worry about that ever. There is, however, one possible drop from our diamond plants that we haven't seen yet. 
and that drop is going to allow us to plant one more thing or like four or five more things that is absolutely ludicrous and i think we have it down here we just have to farm it it's right there it's right there we have it the universal planter hoe this thing oh my gosh is absolutely insane we got it in our hand right now we need to find ourselves something that is even more unlikely to be planted than a diamond ore or iron ingots or bread or anything this doesn't even really come from the earth i mean i guess kind of everything comes from the earth that whole equation of like matter cannot be added or destroyed science if we go up to a mob like this sheep right here whack it with the planter hoe oh we get get a new drop right there pick that up that is the sheep plant essence and we can actually go and plant a sheep and with our mob farm section set up it's been fully constructed from the ground up we can plant our sheep essence just like usual now the sheep essence does something unexpected because we made the sheep now be able to come from the earth watch what happens when this sheep plant starts producing the fruits of our labor look at it <laughs> look at it go <laughs> the sheep are coming out of the plant oh gosh oh that's gonna get hectic an unlimited sheep spotter uh i'm gonna go ahead and just block you guys in there now you guys are locked in don't trample over my farm all right i installed a bunch of storage back here so we can keep track of everything that we've got oh my word look at it all we filled up an entire chest full of diamond goods and we also have extra universal planters that we can use because the sheep oh <laughs> They are so annoying. They're not the only ones that we can grab an essence from and plant. We can plant virtually any mob in the game. Boom. Got him. Watch this. We get ourselves the zombie plant essence. Bring it back to our farm. We could set up the greatest zombie trap of all time. You know we're at our farm when we hear that annoying sheep sound. Let's say down here, for example, next to our farm, we wanted to build ourselves a little zombie surprise. I'm gonna grab our zombie plant essence and I'm gonna plant it, right? Okay, I better get out of here before these zombies start spawning. Hold on. Okay, our zombie plant essence is planted there on the side. Where did my bread bits go? Grab my bread Red bits and i'm gonna just toss them down there and stay up here boom fully grown and the zombies start spawning instantly look at them down there this is going to be the greatest zombie farm ever they're stuck down there they got a little hiding spot they can stay over there if they want but there's gonna be about 500 of them in about five minutes oh no the sun has started torturing them look at them they're stuck <laughs> they spawn and instantly start burning oh my gosh okay <laughs> hold on guys that is such a loud farm that we've constructed here. We've got sheep to our left. We've got zombies straight in front of us that are consistently spawning and getting nuked straight away. No mercy. And everything is so loud. How can you even survive? Let's just see how many sheep have spawned over here. Free the sheep! I figure you guys come rushing out. You guys are just casually walking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. They're trying. They can't even fit out the one hole that's there. Clear it all. Clear it all. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. Free the zombies. Or actually just make it so they can't go anywhere and they just are stuck down there and burning in the sunlight. Oh no, a sheep went down there. The most hopeless zombie farm in the world unlimited diamonds millions upon millions of sheep and the craziest zombie farm ever formed i don't know if it gets much better than this we still haven't planted a creeper or a skeleton oh my gosh